Welcome to the DiNardo tutorial series. In this part, we present a sensitivity analysis workflow within OptiSlang inside ANSYS Workbench. For that, we want to use an analytical nonlinear function. The limits are plus and minus pi. Open the ANSYS Workbench. In ANSYS Workbench, Microsoft Office Excel is used as a solver. The Excel module can be opened by double-clicking at the corresponding button or via drag and drop. We choose the file we prepared before with the analytical function by right-clicking at Analysis, Add File, Browse. Now open the Excel file by right-clicking on Analysis, open File in Excel and make some adjustments. Now it's necessary to define parameter names so the workbench can work with them. The prefix wb underscore is important to make them accessible for workbench. Name them wb underscore x1 to wb underscore x5 by highlighting a cell and typing the name at the names field. Do the same for the output parameter. The corresponding function for the output variable y is predefined within cell b13. Afterwards, save and close the Excel sheet. In ANSYS Workbench, open the parameter configuration by right-clicking at Analysis. Edit Configuration to set the input and output parameters. Set the XN parameters as input and the Y parameter as output by checking the specific boxes. Via the toolbar, choose Return to Project to show the current project schematic. Click on the parameter set to check the inputs and output. Click on Update Project to update all values. Return to Project. All solver adjustments are now finished. Installing OptiSlang inside ANSYS Workbench, you will get three new systems in your toolbox. Optimization, Robustness and Sensitivity. Double-click on the Sensitivity module to start a new sensitivity analysis. Now make adjustments to set up the sensitivity flow. First, double-click on Parameters to open the Parameters dialog. Here the input parameters attributes are listed like name and reference value. The parameter ranges need to be adjusted to hit the analytical function's requirements of our example. Because all parameters have the same range, we can use the OptiSlang Parameters Tables Multiset feature. Select all parameter ranges by clicking on the first and then holding the Shift key clicking on the last. Enter the edit mode by double clicking at any range while holding the Shift key or just starting to type. Adjust the min and max range cells to the desired values and leave the edit mode by hitting enter. Accept the dialog by hitting OK. Double-click on Criteria to open the corresponding dialog. The input parameters and responses, or outputs, are listed here. Double-click on DOE to start the DOE dialog. For an easy and safe usage, the default sampling method is Advanced Latin Hypercube. Enter the desired number of samples and press OK. Now start the DOE run using the Update action by right-clicking to use the DOE context menu. Now the DOE is created in the background and all designs are calculated. The progress bar at the bottom keeps you up to date. After the DOE is finished, all of the calculated designs are shown in the ANSYS Workbench design table and in the OptiSlang post processing. The OptiSlang post processing is displayed and shows the important information at a glance. After finishing the DOE flow, we will continue with the MOP workflow to create a meta model of optimized prognosis. Open the Meta Model of Optimized Prognosis dialog by double clicking on MOP and keep the defaults. To start the Meta Model of Optimized Prognosis, just select Update via the MOP context menu. The MOP will now be created and the important parameters will be identified. Open the MOP results via the Results action of the context menu, or just double click on Results in the Sensitivity flow. At the upper right window, the found optimal meta model is displayed. The 3D response surface indicates the nonlinear sinusoidal correlation between x3 and the output y. The two most important parameters x2 and x3 are chosen. The COP subwindow indicates that three of the five parameters have influence on the result y. The sum over the single COP values is higher than the global COP. This is an indicator for the occurrence of coupling terms. Concluding, the sensitivity analysis detected the most important parameters of the coupled function. Three important parameters have been identified. Two parameters have no influence. Thanks for watching this video. 
For more information, take a look at our homepage.